Hey babes, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to retie specifically micro lock and or sister locks. I'm going to share with you three different types of tools that I recommend that made it easier for me as a beginner and also as my locks grew longer. I will show you a three point rotation and four point rotation. Well, can you see that? Let's go. At this time, I'm going to ask you to fasten your seatbelts. lock right now I started off very very short and I used the London lock tool it was my friend and I think anybody can be able to use that so we're going to start out using the London lock tool which is great for beginners you see it clamps up and down just like so so we're going to clamp it on the end of our box okay picture your hair is that black dot that's in the middle and the black square are the areas that we're going to enter the lock or underneath where the roots are at. So we're going to go at the bottom of that line through the lock, the other side, the other side, and then the other side. And then we'll repeat that process until we get down to the base of the lock to where we can't retie anymore. So let's see how you can do it on the real hair as a demonstration. Here are some pros and cons of the London lock tool. The four point rotation is very common so we'll start out with that first using the London lock tool. View the visual along with me retying and always make sure you pull the hair all the way through so that you don't get any knots in your locks. I like to put my thumb on the other side as you'll notice to keep the needle from penetrating to another lock because if you get in, into another lock, that's a whole nother problem. And then you repeat and you will do this till you can't do it anymore and your lock is totally retied to the root. It looks like it's down to the root to me. What do you think? So that is the four point rotation. The three point rotation is just that. You're just gonna go three sections of that square. You don't go on the fourth side and you repeat the same cycle. I want to add that you can start on any line of that square as long as you go that same direction or clockwise or counterclockwise. Either way, you started out with going. Keep going that direction. Also, keep in mind that you want your lock to exit out the way that you want your lock to lay. So, for instance, if you wanted to lay back, you would have it to go that way so that it can go that direction. When I first started, I sectioned my hair into four quarters and tried to work on each quadrant at a time and took a break between each quadrant. But as I became more advanced with retying, I just, I never did separate. I just started from the back and worked my way up and felt any fuzzy pieces or any new growth and just retied until I couldn't feel any more fuzzies all the way up to the front. And it's actually easier than what you think. I think you pretty much got the gist of using the London Lock tool. So let's try the O-Locker tool. Here are some pros and cons of the O-Locker tool. So you'll just fold your hair up on itself like so. And then we're going to basically thread that folded part <laughs> in the middle of that bigger hole on that tool. And then you will push the hair like in that little smaller hole to kind of catch it so the thicker your locks is the better it'll catch but since these locks are so small it's kind of hard which is why I like to use the uh, London lock tool and you just kind of twist it around to kind of keep it to stay and you retie like we just showed prior to this demonstration same concept see some people like the London lock tool better but some don't because of that bevel piece that I just showed you that it may hurt going through. But it only affects me when I try to continue to interlock when it's to the roots. But you should stop once you reach a certain point to prevent any tension to your roots, regardless of any tool. But I personally like the London Lock tool because I'd have less hassle of threading it through the needle. To me, the London Lock tool is what I personally prefer. But you may like this one. You just have to try and see which one you like. 
The lock on the father bottom right is with the O-locker tool and the ones on the left side with my left hand is with the London lock tool. Now, let's use the bobby pin. Now you can find these anywhere. These are great when you forget to bring your needles with you. Here are some pros and cons of using the bobby pin. So basically I just put the lock between the fork part of the bobby pin and just kind of wrapped it around kind of like how I did the O-locker tool and used the base of the bobby pin as my point of entry. I also held the lock on the base of that bobby pin where it was attached so that I don't have to thread it over again because it was kind of tricky just a little bit. I will say when I first started learning how to interlock, I did combine some locks accidentally. But once I learned what I was doing, I tried to make sure that that didn't happen again. It happened like once or twice. Hence why I may have a few less locks <laughs> than I originally started out with because I may have combined a few. I'm going to finish retying my locks off camera and then come back and show you exactly what I do once I finish. I like to use this coconut and lemongrass lock nourishing oil that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's a very, very light oil. It helps moisturize and promote scalp health. I just kind of put it in my hands and distribute it like that and kind of massage it into my scalp. I hope that I was able to help direct you in learning how to self-retype. And I'm sure you know what my favorite tool is to use. <laughs> When I first started, it took me about one week to finish my whole head of 473 locks, but now it takes me about two days to complete. With that being said, you have to come up with some tricks on how to look appropriate when you are going outside in the public and you're not totally finished. So here are some options to cover up your hair when you're not done. Buy you some turbans and things like this to wrap around your hair when you're not finished. Here's an insider. I waited till about three months to retie my hair again and my grid was still on point when once I finished interlocking. And uh, I think it just depends on the person's hair. I personally think it's best for my experience. It relieves some tension off of my roots. So if you don't want to interlock as often, you can probably wait about three to four months before you interlock. My scalp could finally breathe. <laughs> so which tool did you like best? Comment down below on which one you'd like to try when you self-retie. If you like this video or this content or my channel or my vibe, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my family. On my channel, I like to leave nuggets of hope towards the end. So with that being said, be sure to love your enemies, love those who despitefully use you, hate you, whatever, and pray for those. You know what? Because in the end, you'll win and you'll feel so much better. As always, have a blessed day. And you better continue being you, baby. See you later, babes.